Welcome back to Now or Never. It's Rich, it's Cavino, and this guy, UFC middleweight champ. Israel, Adesanya. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Congrats, Congrats on everything. everything. If I were you, I would carry that everywhere. Uh, I would too, but it's a little heavy. And yeah. I lift a lot already. Well, how yeah. do we know he doesn't? Yeah, no, I don't. Like, for me personally, I, I, I never get attached to it. Because I, right now I'm doing a media tour, so I flex with it. You know, yeah, I take you it have places. To. You know, I got to shine on everybody. But yeah. after that, when I get back to camp, I barely look at it. It's in this little bag, whoop, zipped up, catching up dust somewhere. But you're proud. I'm very proud. You should very, be, man. very proud. Congrats like, on everything. I mean, I've now, been working. We were, uh, we were reading that you started fighting because you were trying to protect yourself. We were thinking, who yeah. messed with you? Yeah, oh no, trust me, I wasn't always six foot four, two hundred pounds. I mean, I was a little black kid uh, with a big head, skinny <laughs> body. You know, I looked like a lollipop. Yeah. And everyone, yeah, when you live in a country that doesn't really understand you or see much of your kind, you kind of get prejudice put against you. I'm sure you guys have experienced that in your own lives somehow. Right. But. Yeah, I just had to, I, st I got sick of running, so I was like, yeah, F this, I'm going to fight back. Come yeah, because you got to be crazy <laughs> to do what you're doing. We were talking just yeah, I'm before. I'm crazy, I'm local, you're a little, What do you think got you crazy? What is that fuel inside, man? Is it that stuff from a kid when, mm. when they were calling you the lollipop and all yeah. that? Yeah, honestly, like, I have, I have chips and dip on my shoulder, you know. I, I'm, I'm petty as well. <laughs> I remember everything, everything. Yeah. So that does play a part of it, but... Trust me, you wouldn't have paid me enough to do this in the first place because I saw the, the Ultimate Fighter in 2005, and I was like... No, you'd never pay me enough to do this. And then I saw Dana White, what he was doing. I felt yeah. like that's the job I want. But now, f I don't want his job. He's, he looks like he works hard. Well, speaking of jobs, yeah. before you became the champ, yeah. what was your last job? Tell us My about that. My last job, yeah. I was a billing and metering coordinator for a company, a gas company, a gas line company. And I remember the day I quit, September 3rd. No, September 4th, 2013. That was the day I quit that job. And I never looked back. I tried like three times prior to quit, try to escape the rat race, but I failed. And then one of my coworkers kind of made fun of me. And then I was just like, cause yeah. I kept on saying, well, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna get out of here. And he kind of said, oh, you said that last year and the year before. And I was like, doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. I gotta keep trying to, you know, find my way out. And I did. That's more fuel to the fire. What's 100%. up with people making fun of you? People are I bold. Know. They, I especially because I'm a nice, nice guy. guy. I'm a nice you guy. Go back to that office yeah. and oh, smack no. that guy. Nah, I, I don't. See, I'm nice like that. What I might do one time is just ride back in my new car, my yeah. McLaren. Yeah. But you know, people like that don't know. So the Lord said, "Forgive them, for they don't know what they do." And right. sometimes I'm a charitable guy. You know, I just feel like they lost. Yeah, they lost. Maybe they're winning. Who knows? But I'm winning at life. Yes, well, you, you are. are winning at life. In fact, mm. you, your last two fights, Whitaker, mm. Gastelum, what is next for you? What do you want? Me, I asked for the, the boogeyman of the division, the guy no one wants to fight, Yoel Romero. I wanted him. But, like I said, he's, you know, I'm a charitable guy. I mean, he doesn't deserve a shot at the champ after coming off his last few fights losing. Right. And also, he's, yeah, he's a guy that... But I don't really care about records. I just feel like if he's the people that he's, if he's the guy that people think is gonna beat me, if he's the people's champ, huh? Then all right, let's see what you got. Would you look outside of the UFC? Like when you hear Masvidal saying, you know what, I'll take on Canelo and things like that. What do you think? What goes through your mind when you that? Like that? For me, no, not for you. I hate censorships. First of all, okay. I don't like people. Even with what I speak, trying to tell me how to speak and take away words. So if you're going to tell me, this is body language, this is fighting, this is martial arts. Yeah. If you're going to tell me I can't teep a guy in the face, if you're going to tell me I can't slam someone on their head or trip them or throw a spinning elbow, that's taking away a lot of my, a lot of my language. So I'm only going to speak like a couple words or a few sentences. That's not, I don't like being censored. So if they, people want to fight me from any code, I'm not, when, I'm not telling you you can't box me. I'm not telling you you can't grapple me or use your judo, but you're telling me I can't use my best weapons. That seems stupid. So for me, if you want to fight me from any other code, come to the UFC, as real as it gets. Wow. Is a guy like John Jones mm -hmm. spark any interest for you? Yeah, 100%. I've already, he, he's, he's the guy that started it. TMZ kind of poked the bear and he started it. Said he wants to fight me and I was like, all right, I killed him. Send him a word. message. You got any, yeah. any words for uh, John Jones? <laughs> <laughs> no words. No words, just sweeten up things. Uh, Which, by the way, I hear is one of your uh, finishing moves. Yeah. You, you get a guy to submit, and then you whisper sweet nothings. What, what does that mean, exactly? See, I haven't had a submission win yet, but when I've choked people out, yeah. you know, doing work, I just try, I, I like to poke a little fun. So can, can you do a demonstration? Can you headlock Cavino? Nah. <laughs> He's a chill No, 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 I'm chilling, man. Like I said, you got to pay me. 
they, they cost a lot. Yeah, like what the bonus. do you say, though? Like, look at me. I did this to you. Remember? Nah. <laughs> Some gangster stuff like Some that? Some gangster stuff. But lately, I haven't said anything. What did I say to um, Robert Whitaker in the second round after he got dropped in the first round? You know, I knocked him out twice in that fight. And then he, he's looking at the screen to try and see what happened to remember. And I was like, hey, hey, that's in the past. Focus on this. I'm right here right now because that's gone. You know? And, yeah, it happened again. Deja vu. Wow. Now, let's get into your top five pound for pound in the UFC. In the UFC. I want to know who you think is bringing it, man. See, I don't really believe in rankings, man. Okay. Like, that's the thing. Someone told me, I think it was Hercules told me before, like, oh, you know, you're the number eight pound for pound. I was like, really? I think I might have seen it somewhere, but I never really pay attention. When you to hear it. that, is it insulting? Nah, I don't care. You don't care at all. Who, okay, who makes the list? I don't know. Have they ever fought before? Exactly. So it's just opinions. These are all opinions. I've always said, since I got to the UFC, I said I'm the number one. I said I'm the champion because I knew who I was. But they never. They are. Who's this guy? Like I said, they, this cocky dude just talking shit. But is there a shit. part of you that does want to prove people wrong and show them? Like if Bones Jones is ranked number one, I've been doing it. And I, I know you have. You yeah. got. You got a nice list of names. Undefeated. In there, bro. Undefeated yeah, guys. Working. I've been working. Yeah, Anderson Silva, Whitaker, Gaslam. I mean, you've 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 proven a lot. Yeah. But it doesn't mean anything to you then. Not all those mean something to me, but the rankings don't mean me. But beating the greatest warriors of our time, that means something to me. That's what gets me up in the morning. And yeah, he's one of the best. He's a living legend. And like I said, 2021, the Raiders Stadium, I'm coming for him. Okay, so who's your top five, man? Let's hear top it. Top five. Yeah. I'll go number one. Oh, let me see. You put me on the spot here. Let me think. Uh, okay. Number five, Brad Riddell. Okay. That's my guy. Number four, Dan Hooker. Number three, Kai Car France. Number four, uh, number two, number sorry, two. myself. And number one, I'd say CM Punk. What? No, get out of here, man. No, I was like, okay. I was like, look at him playing the humble card here. This is great. What a guy. You know who talks a big game? What about he comes here quite a bit? Uh, Cejudo. Oh, the cringe king. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's good. I met him again in, uh, after my fight. You know, I'm, he's always going against me because, you know, I beat his boy up. Well, yeah, and he calls himself he's Triple C. He's, Triple he's C. a two-division champion. Is that yeah. in the works for you, man? Yeah, like I said, 2021, I'm going to get that. But at what weight? Because like I said, oh, if a Bon Jones so... fight does happen, he's at 205, I'm you're at 185. I've You'd done go it. up to 205. I've done it in boxing. Yeah. I've done it in kickboxing. I'm going to do it in MMA. I just won the belt in Atlanta, and I defended it in Melbourne. I have to pay respect to the game. I have to respect the code and do right by the belt because the belt has been held the division has been held hostage for so long because the champion was inactive. So I want to be an active champ. I want to defend my belt four more times next year. And then I'll go up to 205 and I'll f*** him up. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.